Hey guys, what's up? My name is Tiff. In this episode, we are going to be covering a really cool magic trick that essentially you are pulling objects from your computer screen. Yes, you heard that right. We're going to be going over features such as animate for some really cool effects, voiceover to guide your viewer along in the video, as well as split to make some really interesting transitions and also so many other features. Okay, enough of me talking, let's get started. Okay, here's the magic trick that we will be recreating today. Imagine if there was a way that you could search for anything in the computer and then pull it out. Let's try it with a puppy. Okay, first let's open up the Splice app and import our videos. First thing I always do is use split to cut exactly where I want the transition to happen, which in this case is the image on screen of what I'm hoping to pull out of the computer and followed by what I'm actually pulling out of the computer. In this case, a puppy. Okay, next up, I'm going to show you how to use this really cool transition. First, I'm going to split where exactly I want the transition to take place, navigate to animate and enable Ken Burns. And then you can see this gives the effect of zooming in and really making it appear as though I'm thinking really hard as to what I want to search up. Okay, next up, let's go to adjust saturation and bring it up a bit to make the video pop. Also while in adjust, bring up the contrast a little bit to really bring out some definition. Okay, next let's go into effects and choose a really cool effect that occurs on the transition. And then I just drag the effect exactly over the transition where it takes place and shorten it a little bit. Now it's time for some background music. Splice has so many different options for background music, which makes it really easy to choose the perfect one. Although you can choose exactly where you want the background music to play, in this case, I want it throughout the video, so I just drag it throughout the entire clip. I'm going to use voiceover for this video because it will really help guide the viewer as to what I'm thinking in the video, which is, hmm, I wonder what I can pull out of a computer. Okay, the last step is to export our video. You can see there are so many different options, which makes it really easy. Okay, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Make sure to leave some comments down below of other tutorials you would like to see using the Splice app. Also, ensure to follow along the Splice tutorial series. Thanks guys. 